there pretty hard there at the start of the second half, and and um, they're a they're a team that that um, uh, when they start making shots, um, they're they're tough to they're tough to beat. And Devoe got going on us, and uh, a couple times we did nice job on him. He still made them, but there were you know he got he got somewhere in transition, some in broken floors. Um, some on penetration, but uh, we didn't. We certainly didn't do a good enough job on him, and and um, um, so that was kind of the difference. They just uh, we, we we didn't guard him in the second half like we like we would have to guard, and and um, uh, so well, I, I didn't think that I, I didn't think that our performance was was really good on either end. To be honest with you, I didn't think that we. Um, we didn't share the ball like we needed to. We didn't. We didn't take care of the ball like we needed to. Uh, we didn't finish plays at the goal like we needed to at times. Um, and and um, uh, when when we get into trouble, when the game starts getting tough for us, we we've had this tendency to go solo. And our team is not made up of of guys that are capable of winning games going solo. And and that's a lesson that's coming more slowly than than it needs to. Um, and and so. Uh, we, we've got to we, we have to fix that component so that uh, we give ourselves the best chance because we're, we're we're you know we're deficient in some areas anyway but um, uh, but then we make it even more difficult on ourselves when we when we try to take the game on our own as opposed to playing as a group. You were talking about that, that, that the tendency to go solo there, Kevin. How much do you feel like can be attributed to you and these guys in this situation of just kind of panicking and running the net? You know, I, I, yeah, I think there's a panic. I think there's a lack of trust, um, but I also think that maybe uh, we have some guys that are that are just wired to try to, um, you know, when when something doesn't go right or whatever, then then they're wired to because that's what they've done in their prior life, and and um, at some point they're going to realize that uh, that life's over with because this is the ACC and you can't go solo in this league, and 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 beat anybody you, you better play as a group you better play as a team and um uh so I, I just thought we had too much um too much individual play and and um and and not not good enough team play tonight and and i've got to i've got to do a good job of a better job of subbing that out and getting guys out of the game when when that happens coach was uh, stopping the three the biggest point of emphasis for you defensively going into the game uh, it was one of the things that we talked about. Transition defense was one, and which leads to a lot of their threes. And and um, uh, in the first half, you know, we we did okay. Our offense wasn't very good in the first half, but our defense wasn't bad. And um, and like I said, that first four minutes of the second half, they just came out on fire, and and we didn't react very well. And and um, and that's what cost us. Um, well, some of it's just, um, you know, some of it's still youth. Some of it is, is lack of experience. It's lack of, of a go-to guy that can create an easy basket for himself or for someone else. Um, and, um, you know, I thought Terrell did a nice job offensively tonight and, and, and got us some, some baskets and, um, and that's, you know, that would be a, a welcome thing. Um, you know our perimeter guys didn't didn't the guys that we need to shoot it well didn't shoot it well enough and and uh, but I thought Terrell was a bright spot offensively inside and and um, uh, but um, I I didn't you know and this is probably only the second time this season that I can I I would could say this I, I didn't think that we approached this game um, with with the right mentality and and um, um, you know we. Um, and, and I'm not sure why, because we had, we had good practices, um, and we had energetic practices and, and then, um, uh, I, I could tell today at the shoot around that it wasn't, it, that, that we weren't, we weren't where we needed to be. Um, so, um, I've got to figure out why that happened and, and try to prevent that from happening again. What do you mean, uh, when you say that? Yeah, just there. There was a lack of focus. There, there was there was there was a lack of focus. I thought, and um, and I brought it to their attention, um, but apparently not well enough. Kevin is. Um, I mean, I feel like 
we're seeing Clemson up close. Are they a legitimate contender in the ACC, or are you surprised that they're in the spot they're in? Well, I think Brad's done a terrific job, and I think that's why they're in the spot they're in right now. And when you say a contender, um, I, were there three games behind Virginia with six to play? Um, I, I, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know that I would would call them a contender, but they, um, but I think they're an awfully good team, and I think Brad's done a, a great job of maximizing who they are and who they can be. And, and um, um, you know, w when they get going like they did, and I've seen it, uh, it has, it's not just us that it happened to, it's happened to a number of people. When they get going like that, especially from the perimeter, they're very, very dangerous. And, and um, uh, so, but I, I think what's, and this is just my opinion, but um, I think they're so much better defensively than they were a year ago. And, and, um, uh, and and so I, that's what that's what impressed me watching them on on tape and and tonight in the game they, they were they were they were hard to get good shots against. Anybody else? Yes. All right.